Hi, well, praise the Lord. Uh, it enabled me to buy this new 20 horsepower Tahatsu today. And the purpose of this video is to get my first take on it. There is a Redeemer, Jesus, God's own Son, precious Lamb of God, Messiah, Holy One. Uh, I like the Tohatsu motors. Uh, I've owned a few uh, Nissans over the years, a 9.8 and a 20 horsepower that did really well. Uh, so most of the maintenance that the older Nissans needed, and those are made by Tahatsu four strokes, uh, was uh, they needed a replacement water pump. Both of them had the water pump go out at some point, but they ran so well for me that uh, it was time to buy another one. I went, uh, went for the 20 horsepower Tahatsu. So I picked it up today and uh, here are my first take, my first impression. Uh, I like it so far. Now we'll see how it does over the next decade. Uh, but a few points to ponder and consider. Uh, the top speed now is 20 horsepower. My boat is an Alumacraft V16. So fully weighted. It's uh, got about 600 pounds in it. If you include the motors, uh, me, and all the equipment. So the new 20 horsepower motor with the Alumacraft V16 and 600 pounds of stuff in it will go 23 miles an hour at the top end. Uh, it's got the eight twist prop on it, uh, same as the other older motor that I have. And that compares favorably with the older motor. Uh, the older motor is a 2011, maybe a 2012 model. And uh, wide open, it'll push the boat at about 20 miles an hour, weighted the same. And then when you throttle back to where you get a little better fuel economy, uh, the older motor will get about uh, 18 miles per hour. Now the new one, top end is 23, and then you throttle back, you get 20 or 21 miles an hour running at those RPMs where you know it's kind of the sweet spot for fuel economy. And uh, those who know me know I do a lot of trolling. One of the reasons for the two motors is uh, just for trolling flexibility. It's nice to have the two tillers. When you're trolling in the, into the wind or trolling in difficult conditions, uh, the two tillers gives you a lot of control. The other reason I run the two, uh, on the boat is simply because I don't like being stuck anywhere. Me and my guests, uh, we like a high probability of getting back to the dock on time without needing to call sea tow or anything like that. And we fish in a lot of places where where there is no sea tow. So, uh, but the other one I like because it, it's got a lot more fine control over the trolling. Uh, it'll troll down to 1.7, 1.8 miles an hour. And then uh, just the, the fine, fine control and the throttle uh, can get you anywhere you want a lot easier than the older motor between, uh, between two and three miles an hour. You just have to watch, uh, watch the gauge, increase the throttle. Uh, you can hit your target speed for conditions and your lures and your target, uh, whatever. And of course, I mean, you can't troll all the way up to three miles an hour, but most of my work is between about 1.7 and 2.5 miles an hour. So got good uh, fine control on the uh, on the low end on the speeds. So I like it, uh, but that's my first take. We'll see how it does. Hopefully it's still in service uh, 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now. I tremble at the thought of judgment day. Lord, I am not ready. Please don't return Just yet for all my sins are and put away My cross is on the floor And I would burn 